Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals and on today's video we're going to be starting up our small PCB recycling system. We're going to be running some of these copper cables. Uh, we got two different samples here. We've got this ribbon cable stuff and we're after uh, the gold pins here in these and all these connectors as well as the copper from this little hair wire. And then our second sample is going to be these other connectors and we're going after the same thing. They've got little gold connectors in them. Um, so we're after our precious metals and our copper. We've got them weighed, so we're going to run them through our system and see what we can recover. All right, here's a quick look at our PCB grinder system. This is a 16-inch by 12-inch hammer mill here. We've got uh, our manganese hammers in it and a quarter-inch punch plate screen. So we're going to feed the material, the ribbon cables in the top. We're going to get ground up through our hammer mill. We're going to run water with them to keep the, the dust down and make everything a nice slurry. It's going to come out this chute onto our 4x8 shaker table. The copper and the dense metals are going to come across here into the number one and number two high grade ports. Uh, any copper that's not liberated should come down here into the number three port where there's a pump in that bucket that's going to pump it back up into the hammer mill to get reground. And then all the liberated plastic and everything else that's real light and not very dense is going to come down there into the number four and come out this pipe into our tailings pond. So here's our stuff from the ribbon cable that came off the shaker table. And we've got three different samples. We'll start here with the number one. This is uh, where almost all of the gold pins went. A little bit of copper wire in there. There's actually quite a bit of copper wire in there, but um, all the gold came across here. And so that's our number one high grade. Here's our number two concentrates. And this was where mostly the tin copper wire went to, as well as um, some of the bigger balls of stuff that rolled down into the safety grooves. Um, but there's hard, there's no gold pins in this. You don't see any of the gold pins in here. It's all copper. And then, let me make sure I get all the copper wire off my hands here. This is the number four tailings. And every once in a while, there's a little piece of wire in there. 
that still has copper in it, but almost all of this is liberated insulation where the copper's been pulled out and you just have the insulation left over. And uh, we ran about 60 pounds of ribbon wire. It took us about half an hour and we were playing around and I was coming down and, and looking at the table and stuff. So you could probably run faster than that. Um, so we, uh, for those numbers, we're running about 120 pounds an hour and you can probably expect somewhere a little more than that, 150 to 200 maybe. Um, and then for the, for the copper that we got, this weighs 20 pounds. Uh, so we're right about a third of our weight was copper. And, uh, and so you've got your, your two thirds waste and, and a third of your copper here. So we tried running some of these wires through the system and it turns out that, uh, the insulation is so heavy and it's so rubbery that the hammer mill doesn't uh, chop. It's more of a, a grinder and a breaker. And so the insulation on this was, was just too thick for us. And uh, once it, it ground up, it just never came out. So really for this stuff, you probably need a granulator. Um, whereas the ribbon cable went really well and uh, the, the plastic was malleable enough and soft enough that it could rip and shred and break up and, and come through the screen. So... Um, this one didn't work very well, but those ribbon cables work really good. So thanks for watching our video on our PCB processing system. Uh, we're still learning. We're doing a lot of different experiments. We're trying a lot of different things. Uh, and we're not really electronic scrap guys. So we're really looking to you guys for more information on this. Did you think it worked well? Did you not think it worked well? What happens with the ribbon cables currently in the, in the uh, industry? Uh, is this a viable solution for them? Is the gold pins going into the number one, uh, the best spot for them? Do you want to screen those out after you've concentrated them? So we've got a lot of questions. We're not experts in it yet. Um, but if you have any questions or comments on what you saw in the video today, give us a call or send us an email. We'll do our best to answer them for you. But really, we're more looking to start a conversation with you guys and figure out exactly what you guys need from us for processing some of those electronic waste. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.